Hello, my name is Miss Elizabeth Thomas. I will be your instructor for Chemistry 105, the summer online course. Your other instructor will be Dr. Stephen Testa. So welcome and let's just start talking about the syllabus and everything that you need to be successful for this course. Alright, the first thing, you need to be able to access your syllabus. So you need to go to the University of Kentucky www.uky.edu website and this is the link blue website and this is where I normally get my email I go through exchange but um, your classroom like a virtual classroom will really be in canvas so you need to be able to access canvas once you access Canvas, you'll get a, a site that looks like this, and you can put in your Link Blue account. You'll have an account number. Most of you might already have that, and your Link Blue password, and then you can sign in. And then you'll get a page that looks like this, or somewhat like this, and the key here will be your modules. You'll want to click Modules. Excuse me. And when you click the modules, you'll have access to recitation videos, uh, recitation problems, lecture videos, lecture notes, course information. And so you want to choose the modules tab. And then for this purpose, to get the syllabus that we're talking about today, you'll want to scroll down. And when you scroll down, you'll see um, some module sites that say proctoring and then introduction syllabus and our syllabus is one of these pages so here's the slides so this would be the lecture slides that uh, we're discussing today this uh, will be an assignment calendar and I will show that to you that is the end of this today's presentation but what you're really concerned with here is the chemistry 105 22 zero syllabus. So go ahead and get that and have that up and being able to look at that because that's what we're going to go through. Okay so just little bits and pieces of the syllabus. My name is Elizabeth Thomas and um, the other instructor is Dr. Stephen Testa. This is summer 2016. This is course chemistry 105-220. Now, the important thing here is what's required. And we're going to talk about these four requirements over the next few slides. And you can read through the course goals. The course goals are very important because they tell you that you're really going to have to show application of science and to engage in how science works and how the chemical methods work and then this is some information if you have any questions regarding um, the course description and goals or the repeat registration in 105 just send me an email and I will help you okay so number one you need a textbook this is the textbook for the course so a lot of times you'll hear me refer to uh, these problems in TRO TRO your textbook TRO You'll hear me say about a certain page that you need to know a table on. So this is what I'm referring to. This textbook, you can get it at the Kennedy Bookstore. You can get it at the UK Bookstore eCampus. And what's really nice about that, when you do go to order this textbook, you can also get your homework uh, account, which is Sapling. So you'll be doing homework on Sapling. You'll need an access code. It can be purchased as well whenever you buy your textbook. And if you've gotten your textbook from a friend or something, then you can go online, Sapling Learning. Exams are administered through Soft Text. We'll talk about that a little bit. Um, that software is free. And then the lectures, you will go through Canvas to access your le lectures. And we'll talk about that. Okay, so the first thing here, um, your sapling access code, so you can do your homework. And this is just a picture of the front page of sapling when you log in and you create your account. 
What's really important here is that when you go to create your account or access your access code for this course, please go through Canvas. Go through the Canvas site. So when you log on to Canvas, you can hit your assignments module. And under assignments module, you'll see the sapling homework. And then when you hit the sapling homework, that will take you to the actual sapling logon site. And when you get to actually into sapling, you'll see that it is um, Dr. Testa Chemistry 105. And most of your stuff is going to be through, you're going to hit activities and due dates in green. Okay, so back to the four things you need. So we talked about the textbook. You can go to Kennedy's or the bookstore, eCampus, to get the TRO textbook. You will need that. We talked a little bit about the sapling online homework. So let's talk about the exams. Okay, exams are administered through soft text, and it's actually exam soft. And um, your exams, you'll need your own laptop or computer and you'll need to download so you want to download the software and you can I'll give you um, the link location of where you want to download this to your computer and then there's also in the syllabus there are technology technology requirements for the software so and the fourth thing you need access to canvas and you go through your UK link blue canvas um, log on and password and that way you can get to modules which has all the course information also on your syllabus we have general education information regarding chemistry 105 combined with 101111 111 is actually the laboratory course and these are your student learning outcomes you can read this if you have any questions you can ask me I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. Okay, um, administrative information. Excuse me. Chemistry 105 um, is open to students who have had Chemistry 104. Uh, Dr. Allison Salt, she is who you would speak to. She's the Director of General Chemistry. If you had any issues with myself or Dr. Testa, or the, this course in general because she's head of um, all the the director of general chemistry uh, Mr. Kevin who he is the assistant to the director and basically they're in the chemistry physics building from 8 to 4 30 p.m. their email is here chemistry at uky.edu and then the phone number and always in the subject line because these guys get and myself a lot of emails so put your course cc che 105-220 and your subject um, maybe it's about a, uh, a religious holiday an exam be specific exam one or exam two so any student that needs to be absent from an exam to observe a major holiday must provide this information to the assistant of the director that is Mr. Kevin who no later than June the 13th any student with a certified disability must obtain documentation from the Disability Resource Center and that documentation needs to be sent to Kevin you need to go ahead and check all your exam dates you'll have all your exam dates after this presentation and like I said these slides are available for downloading on Canvas if you have a university related conflict uh, you need to let Kevin know one week before the first exam soft test that's how we're going to take our exams remember I said I'm going to give you a an ac uh, location to download the exam software onto your laptop um, it says exam soft instructions are available at this website here and um, you need to go ahead and download that UK exam soft here it is right here this is the website www.examsoft.com forward slash UKY 
and you need to download that to your laptop or your iPad or your Microsoft Surface Pro and you need to do this in, soon before your first exam you'll get a link to the practice exam and um, you need to know whether you have um, issues with your soft test the reason why this is important you do not want to do this the week of the exam you're going to get busier and busier with lecture slides and lecture and problems and homework so go ahead and get this access to the software now okay your contact for distant learning services for UK is Carla Catagallo and um, she's a librarian and this is her access information okay for your exams since this is an online course you are responsible for finding a proctor for each of the online exams. They're offered um, through the Canvas site. So you'll see um, under the modules proctoring information and we'll talk a little bit about that and there will be a list of um, UK approved proctoring sites. And so when you have the exam dates, which you'll have after today, you can go ahead and try to go ahead and set that up. Because remember, it is summer, and these people have to be available. And there's certain procedures you have to do to be able to take the exam. This is very important. Okay, administrative dates. Last day to drop the class for a full refund is today. First day of class. The first day of class is today. June 10th is the last day to drop the class for an 80% refund. June 20th is the last day that the course will um, can be dropped without appearing on your transcript or to change a grading option. And then June 23rd is the last day to withdraw from the course um, for a 50% refund. We've already talked about the four uh, course materials that you need to be successful. Grading. Grading is very important. You want to grade, right? So let's see how we grade. An A is anything 90 or above. A B is less than 90, but equal to or greater than 80. A C is less than 80, but equal to or greater than 70. A D is less than 70, equal to or greater than 60. And an E is less than 60 you will be given three exams and you'll have to go through the soft test and the proctoring sites to take these exams and they're each worth 18 percent each assigned homework this will be in sapling and so you'll need your sapling to do homework that is 15 percent recitation my voice will be the voice you hear in recitation I will make recitation videos for the problems and put that in canvas under the recitation video modules so um, you can work your problems then you can look and see did you do them correctly did you do them differently if so why did we do them differently and um, recitation is six percent of your grade and I'll tell you how I'm going to be able to give you six percent for your grade on that because you're going to work problems you want to get your points for your problems and then the comprehensive final exam is a two-hour exam and it will also be taken on soft text and it is on August the 4th the last day of summer school and it's worth 25 percent so if you total all that up you will get a hundred percent now you you can get an incomplete if you do not take your final and you're passing the course you can apply for an incomplete you, um, I would not want to do that if I were you because then you have to uh, take the final the following semester and um, but under certain circumstances life happens so uh, just be aware of that and you can always send me an email if you find yourself in that situation okay this is a little snapshot from canvas 
and under Canvas you can look at your grades and your grades will populate these cells here and you'll see your test scores, recitation problem set, sapling homework average. Um, so you'll see one grade for your sapling. Now you'll be doing sapling several times a week and you'll get different grades per homework assignment. So a lot of your assignments you have a 1A and a 2A for chapter 1, you have a 2A and a 2B for chapter 2, and you'll get different point values. But when you come into Canvas you're only going to see one score. Okay, examinations. There are three one-hour examinations and a two-hour comprehensive final. Exams are administered electronically on your own laptop or tablet. You want to check all the exam dates and times for conflicts. And if you do have a university related conflict with an exam time, you need to contact Kevin in the chemistry department one week before the exam or two weeks before the final. And so those are the dates, June 16th, the 30th, July 14th, and July 28th, which is one week before the um, three semester exams, June 23rd, July 7th, and July 21st. You're going to be administered online with ExamSoft. You install soft text software on your device and you take an you can uh, and then you're going to take an ungraded practice exam to get familiar with this software. During the exam, soft test, this is very important here, okay? Soft test will block all outside communications. So um, and you can go into exam materials, and we'll talk about that under modules, and you'll learn more about that. So you will not be able to have your old homework up or different things on your computer. It will block that. It won't allow you to take the test with um, your exam materials up. Okay, um, each exam will be available from 8 o'clock a.m. to 7 o'clock p.m. on the date of the exam. It gives you 11 hours, but you can only access it once. Once you open it, you have one hour to take these one-hour semester exams, and you have two hours for your final exam on August the 4th. Now notice also uh, your exam on August the 4th is only open until 4 p.m. So that will be at 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. So, so the last time you can access your final exam would be at 2 p.m. in the afternoon to give you two hours. And for these regular exams, 6 p.m. would be the last time that you could actually, the latest you could actually log on to do your exam. And these have to be at proctor sites, so uh, you're going to have to make sure that the person who's proctoring is available at the time you're going to take the test. Okay, if you have trouble with Canvas, you can contact the UK IT Canvas sites. They are excellent. They have been very helpful this week. I really appreciate them. So they're easy to help out. And exam proctoring for each of your exams must be proctored by a university approved proctor. So I'll give you a list, a link to the list of the university approved proctors. Uh, you have to ensure that you have made the adequate proctoring arrangements. You will have to complete a proctoring assignment in sapling prior to each exam. So that means in order to even take the exam, you're going to have to go on to Sapling and you're going to have to score 100% on this proctor assignment. Now notice that this is not graded as a homework assignment. And the actual dates are uh, the Tuesdays before. So your exams are actually going to be on Thursdays. So these uh, Sapling proctoring assignments are due on the Tuesday before the exam. Okay, you need to really um, focus on taking your exams, okay, because your exams will make up 79% of your total grade in here. That's a big chunk. You have three exams worth 54%. You have one exam, final exam, 25%. So that's 79% of your total grade. 
Um, so to take your exams, you have to get 100% on your sapling proctor assignment to be able to take your exam. And that date is two days on Tuesdays, two days before the Thursday exam dates. So um, get, I cannot stress this enough, get your proctor assignment scheduled as soon as possible because this is the majority of your grade. Okay, in Canvas, Chemistry 105.220 modules, to learn more about um, exam soft for your exams, you can scroll down to um, introduction for course tools. So you scroll down and then you choose exam soft. And here, when you read this, it tells you how in the websites to download. So you download soft test from UK's exam soft website. And here it is www dot exam soft dot com forward slash uky and you'll you'll link that you'll download that to your laptop and then you'll receive an email containing a link to a practice exam so um, that would be your homework for today okay sapling online homework so that was either your exam portion so the four things you need to get you need to get your tro um, textbook. You need to be able to read the textbook and work the problems. You need to um, go ahead and access and download your soft test and start looking at how to get your proctoring assignments and the dates. The other thing is sapling, online homework. This is 15% of your grade. So um, you can find more about sapling when you log on to Canvas and then you go to the modules and you um, scroll down to the course information and this will give you information about um, sapling. So um, here you go when you go into Canvas here you can go to assignments and then under assignments you're going to see a green link that says sapling homework. This is how you want to access your sapling. This will link your sapling through your Canvas. And that's important. You want to link your sapling homework through camp Canvas. So when you go and you log on to your sapling, you need to go through your assignment modules under Canvas. So um, when you access your sapling logon through Canvas, you'll see that you'll have if you need to create an account, you'll have an option to create the account. Or if you already have an existing account, then you can go ahead and log on. Okay, so once you do log on, you're going to get a, a, a site that looks like this. And you'll see that your assignments that are due will be down here. And you'll see them in green. And they'll have their, their window. And when they're due, they're in green. You can click this activities and due dates and you can see your homework. Basically in this class you need to be doing homework problems every day. Every day. Every day. Okay, so uh, like I said, sapling is about 15% of your grade. You can read this information here. Um, I have made this a little bit bigger for my view. But um, assignments listed in green have a due date next to them. You can click on the assignment and complete them. There's no penalty for using hints and you have up to four tries to get the correct answer. It's only in multiple choice questions do you get penalized for um, giving the wrong answer or checking your answer. Okay. Um, you also have opportunities to try and do some practice assignments that are not graded. Okay, so when you go on, you can see that um, we have sapling practice assignments here. Uh, the first thing that's going to be due, and this is due on Monday, okay, so go ahead and start on that, is your um, introduction. Your homework is your introduction to sapling. And then, um, I believe... I'll have to look at our thing, but this, oh, I know this week your math re review is due, and then chapter one is due. So you can see that's due um, 614, 
this is due 616. So you already, this week you have three sapling assignments that are due. All right, and these are your homework due dates. This is in your syllabus. So I said that you had three due the first week, and that is right here. So as you see, this is your first week. This is Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. You have your introduction assignment due chapter 1A and 1B and math review. And this is in sapling. So go ahead, make sure you go ahead and get sapling. And it's due by 10 p.m. Exam proctoring. Okay, back to exams, because why? That's 79% of your grade in here, so you need to make sure you're on top of your exam proctoring. So these are on sapling, and these are the Tuesday before the exam dates, and this is, you guys score 100% on these assignments, and they are not graded as your homework assignment. So what's important here is when you go and you hit your modules tab in Canvas, then you scroll down, you can see um, proctoring. And you've probably already seen it if you went ahead and got your introduction to your syllabus. Okay, so when you hit the proctoring exams, you'll see that it'll take you to this external website. And this external website is Kentucky Community and Technical College System. And then you can choose the proc. well actually it'll just be listed proctored test sites. And you'll see this, okay? So this is proctored test sites and you can see that it shouldn't be that hard to find a location that is close to you if you live in Elizabethtown or you live in Hazard or you live in Louisville or Shelby County, Maysville. So these are the contact person and this is the phone numbers. So you might want to go ahead and um, start looking at your schedule and picking a time and seeing who's available. So you can go ahead and set that date. Okay, um, also underneath the modules in Canvas, so you go to Canvas and you go under the modules, you'll see Proctor exam form, exam one form. So for your first form, you'll have to print this out. And um, it has my name and my email, my phone number, uh, the office and chemistry. This is what you, you take this form. So you're going to have to print this out. Take this form to your proctor site. The day you take the exam. Okay, now the proctor will fill out everything in green in this section too here. Actually, you will fill that out to be completed by the student. And then the proctor, it's not on here, but they'll fill out section number three. And then they'll mail it back to Kevin in the chemistry department. Okay, so this is important. So I will remind you as well to take this proctoring form. So print that off and take that. When you take the exam on the exam date. Okay, so taking your exam, you need the exam software, exam soft, soft test. And we talked about um, where to go, the UK download to get that. Um, make sure that you have the correct browser. Um, I logged on with my Mac and you can see I got an error because I need Firefox or Chrome. So a lot of my work I do through the PC. So I thought I would just show you Make sure you do this now and go ahead and take that process exam so you're not doing this the week of the exam. Okay, um, other modules. So this is when you go to Canvas and you hit the modules tab. You'll see other information. So these are just instructions for what you need. And you also see exam materials. Okay, this is very helpful. You have a periodic table, things to memorize, exam policies, information about soft test, and also, this is kind of nice, you have links to the practice exams, previous ones, and that will be helpful. 
Um, important things, you have to have an approved calculator. These are the things that their proctors will be aware of and they'll check. Um, I use a TI-34. So um, if you have a Casio or Sharp, just make sure it's one of those models. What you cannot use is a, a graphing calculator. So if you have a graphing calculator, do not use it. And let me just tell you, you need to make sure you're using your calculator for practicing your problems, for sapling homework, for the suggested problems that are offered in the TRO textbook. So make sure you're using that calculator that you're going to use on the exam. Otherwise, you're not doing yourself a favor. Because a lot of the errors, when people get their exams back, they're just like, oh, it was the calculator or my use of it. Okay, so this is your course schedule. And um, you can see the first day is becoming familiar with the syllabus. And then we're going to go through chapters 1, 2, and 3. Uh, you'll listen to the lecture online videos and you'll work the problems in sapling and also recitation and your exam is June 23rd for chapters 1 through 3 and you'll have from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. so you'll have that time set and then the next few weeks we'll go over chapters 4 and 5 your exam too will be July the 7th, right after the 4th of July holiday. And then the first few weeks of July, we'll go over 6, 7, and 8. Thermochemistry, quantum mechanical model of the atom, the periodic properties of the elements, and your third one-hour exam from 8 to 7, that's when it's open, will be July 21st. And then You'll finish up the summer course with chapters 9 and 10, Chemical Bonding 1 and Chemical Bonding 2. And you'll have a two-hour cumulative final. It's open from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. on August the 4th. Okay, so under the modules, when you go under um, exam information, things to memorize. I'm going to go ahead and give that to you so you can start memorizing. This is the periodic table of elements, and students must learn the element names and abbreviations that are shaded. So as you can see, you have group 1 and 2, the alkali and alkaline earth metals you must know. Uh, these are a few of the transition metals that are gray. So you need to know some transition metals, and then you need to know these non-metals and metalloids. Okay, so know the ones in gray. You can start just looking at that while you're brushing your teeth and, and start learning them and get a periodic table that actually has like the name boron for B and carbon for C. Other things you need to memorize are the conversions. Um, this may not be a complete list, but it's something to start. When I was working uh, your chapter one recitation problems, the two conversion factors that you need to work those problems are right here. One pound equals 453.6 grams. One inch equals 2.54 or centimeters. So you're already using those in chapter one. So you will have to memorize these. Um, you also need to know key terms, concepts, equations, relationships, skills for end of each chapter. And then these are some tables in the book. Exam 1, table 1 1.2 is the prefixes for the uh, metric system. So that will be important. And then you get other figures for the other exams. So this is very helpful. And like I said, this is all under Canvas, under the modules. Okay, also under Canvas, under Modules, you'll have recitation problems. Chapter 1, recitation problems. And when you, um, the best thing for you to do is to download your lecture notes, watch your lecture videos. After you do Section 1, after one hour of lecture videos and taking notes, do your problems. Do some problems then watch another the next day the lecture video take notes and do problems 
and once you do that then I would go and do your recitation problems and you can watch the recitation video after you attempt the problem. Um, for your 6% of your recitation grade you will have to upload upload four of the ten problems. So each chapter in the recitation has a set of about ten problems. Okay, now I will pick four. I will um, say in the video you need to upload these four problems. And when you do that, you basically, I prefer them to be handwritten. They need to be legible. I expect you to show your units and show your math because that's to benefit you. So I can give you feedback on how you're doing the problems. And um, you basically will attach a Okay, so 6% of your grade, these problem sets are in Canvas. Each problem set has about 10 questions. So the four questions you have to upload in Canvas will be designated by me. Okay, and I will tell you that per chapter. These problems can be handwritten or typed. Handwritten is preferred. It needs to be legible. Um, your work will be graded on accuracy and completion. All work must be shown and all units assigned during the entire problem. Okay. Recitation problem. 6% of your grade. So you'll have to do, send it as a PDF file. And um, so if you need to take a picture with your phone or kind of scan it in, um, you should be able to do that. If you have questions, you can ask me. Send me an email. Okay, your final exam. Your final exam is Thursday. August the 4th from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. If you miss the final with an excused absence, then you need to contact Kevin Howell, the assistant of the director of general chemistry within three school days of the missed exam to make alternative arrangements. Missing the final exam often results in an incomplete. Um, you can read about that, and if that happens, then we'll deal with that. Okay. Exam replacement policy. This is exciting. You'll like this. The exam, final exam, is broken up into four sections with the first three sections corresponding to materials from exams one through three. And the fourth section of the new is new material. So if you score really low, let's say on exam two, you're having a hard time and, and something just really went wrong and you only got a 48%. That's your low score, okay? But let's say you're normally an 80% student, 82%. You've got an 82 on the first exam, and then the third exam you get maybe like an 81. Well, what's nice is you can come in the final, and in, let's say that exam 2 area, so in the section 2, you score in that area an 85%. Well, that 85% then would replace your lowest exam grade of the 48%. So that allows you to improve. So do not stop and lose hope. Keep working hard. Excuse absences from the exam. Uh, all documentation. You have to have documentation. It has to be a legitimate documentation within a week of a missed exam. Um, cannot accommodate last minute requests, airline tickets, weddings, participation in other activities are not allowed. They're not considered a legitimate excused absence. If you do miss an exam due to illness, you need to have a signed doctor's or hospital for a hospital official note. Um, most of these requests, if you send them to me, I'm going to refer you to Kevin Howe. He's assistant director. So um, he's very familiar with the university rules. There will be no separate makeup exams. So for students who miss one of the regular exams, even with a legitimate document excuse, and you obtain permission within a week of the regular exam, the score in that section of the final covering the missed exam will become the lowest score 
okay? So instead of your 48%, it will be a 0% that gets replaced because the exam replacement policy above will apply to the other regular exams. Okay, so uh, Canvas instructions to access Canvas. We've talked about how to get a Canvas. You use your username and initial password. Um, if you need help with Canvas, then you need to contact the UKIT customer service. Once you get into Canvas, you have um, course link information from the menu. You're also going to see announcements. So we'll put in announcements and we'll try to do this every single day to kind of let you know this is what you need to do. Um, the assignment link, that's important to get to your sapling test. And I showed you that. So that's the module. Grades, you can go to the grades and um, see your your grades, your recitation grades, your current grades. Um, and like I said, you're only going to see one sapling homework grade there. This also gives you a link to the um, syllabus. It's already posted on Canvas. And then you have modules. This is going to be important too because this is for you in this online course. This is where you get your lecture material. You're going to get the the slides, but you're also going to get the uh, video lecture. So you'll need access to that through the modules on Canvas. Okay, so this is just showing you more information. Um, for information, you can get instructions for course tools like ExamSoft, uh, for sapling homework. You can go to Canvas and you can get exam materials like things to memorize, exam policies, the uh, soft test. From Canvas 105220, you can access, this is important, the lecture videos. You need to be doing those every day. Every day. Okay? They're about an hour a piece. One hour a day. So find the time that you're alert ready to learn. You can open up your book. You can have a binder with your lecture notes already printed off would be my suggestion. And so you can get your lecture notes. You'll go through Canvas. Then um, after you do all your problems on your homework, you need to download your recitation problems. And after you try them, when you then you need to watch the recitation videos and make sure that you are thinking correctly. You can also um, get your announcements. So if I need to let everybody know if something's changed or what's going on, I will send it through an announcement, which will give you an email. And then you can log on to Canvas. So you need to be logging on to Canvas every single day. And we are expecting you to log on every single day. Um, you will have to upload four problems for your recitation grade. So you're going to have to upload a PDF file of four problems that you work. Um, for This will be 6% of your grade. You'll be doing that every single week for chapter one problem. So every chapter you need to do that. Um, so we got 10 chapters in here. So I expect uh, 40 problems over the course of the summer. You can also see your grade and you can link to old exams through Canvas. And so I'm just saying log on to Canvas now. Go ahead and start watching that lecture video. Um, definitely start your sapling homework online assignments. You have three due next week. Um, figure out where you're going to take your exams, your proctor locations. Make some phone calls. Find out who's going to be available for you. Um, and go ahead and schedule that first exam. Also, be sure to send me an email. Let me know how it's all going. Give yourself a few days if you have... Um, do your best. Go through Canvas and um, just send me an email. Make sure you write chemistry 105-220 and you can write syllabus in the subject line. I need your name and your student ID and um, just you know a sentence or two in the um, body. Okay? Uh, you want to use Canvas for your recitation problems. So here are uh, your assignments. You can see that you have recitation problem sets and sapling homework. 
So this is just kind of get you used to logging into Canvas for your modules and your assignments. Um, the other part of your syllabus is academic integrity. Okay, do not cheat. Uh, cheating is defined by the university senate rules. Includes but is not limited to wrongful giving, taking, or presenting any information or material by a student with the intent of aiding himself or herself or any other on any academic work that is considered in the way of determining the final grade. Presenting falsified documentation to obtain an excuse from an exam, an assignment, or class constitutes cheating and will result of an E in the in a grade of E for the course. The fact that the student did not benefit from an action is not itself proof that the action does not constitute cheating. The minimum penalty for cheating is an E on the assignment involved and a single letter reduction of your final grade. And the penalty can be as severe as an E for the course. Okay? And some thing, times they have included uh, suspension, dismissal, or expulsion from the university. So we are expecting you not to cheat. Like I said, when you go to your proctor, UK proctored exam sites, you're not to have your lecture notes out. You're not to have your textbook. You're supposed to have the proper calculator. Okay, getting help. You've got the Learning Center. The Learning Center is great. We have a lot of chemistry graduate students. It's in Chemistry Phys Building 133. Uh, they can help you work these problems. So that would be very helpful if you need to. And they are open um, most days. So you can go on the website and see. Canvas also has some resources. Um, the instructor office hours, I will have my office hours listed. My office hours are going to be virtual and they're on Mondays and Wednesdays. I will send you a conference. So I'll send out a conference. And it'll be a through, you log on through Canvas. Okay, so there's the Canvas conference. And um, I will have a Monday and Wednesday from 9.30 to 10.30. And if that's a bad time for you, then you can always um, send me an email. And if you have questions, we can also communicate by email. So um, you have email communication. You can also call the general chemistry and find out the chemistry tutors. Um, this is just saying whenever you communicate uh, in this course, write chemistry 105220 and what you need to communicate about sapling in this case and in the body make sure you have your full name and your UK student ID number messages containing inappropriate or offensive language or tone may not be answered so be nice okay I am Miss Thomas that's who to contact or Dr. Testa and um, this is all issues about homework Technical difficulties, questions about materials or questions about grades, help with course material, exam material, exam grades, okay? Contact us. Um, Mr. Howell, the general chemistry assistant director, he's really about excused absences, bypass exams, certified disability forms, okay? And then the director of general chemistry is Dr. Salt. Anything that you would like to discuss about the administration of the course, including issues with instructors, you would contact her. Um, the course, all course material is copyrighted by either the instructor or others, therefore transcribing and selling, uh, posting the lecture material presented in class is strictly prohibited. Appropriate online behavior, uh, even though we're in cyberspace, you need to um, observe social interaction rules. You need to uh, behave um, in a manner that you do not harass, intimidate, threaten, belittle, ridicule, express hatred or aggression towards others. Okay. Uh, this is just a little more websites of how Canvas can help. Canvas, oh, these are really great, like submitting your assignment and keeping track of your assignment due. 
Canvas IT people have put together just two minute videos um, and they are really great little videos so when you're navigating through Canvas you might want to just uh, pick one of those and watch a little two minute video clip. Who to contact? Um, you can just go straight to Canvas and our information will be there. Course information, these are your approved calculators and the proctoring websites. Okay, so you know what I look like, who you're speaking to, because you're going to hear my voice a lot in recitation. Um, this is me. So, let's see. There's me. I am Miss Thomas. And um, these are my children. And this is my uh, fiancé. And we're in Berea. Berea, Kentucky there. Okay, um, my office hours are from 9.30 to 10.30 a.m. on Monday and Wednesday. I'll do this through a conference program in Canvas course shell. And um, I think you might have to have access to a microphone and, and maybe a plug-in speakers to be able to communicate. So if we have any issues there, uh, just send me an email. And also Dr. Steven uh, Testa, Dr. Testa is your course instructor. And I just love this little card. It says I'm kind of a big deal. And I just want to tell you that you are a big deal too. Okay? You are a big D-E-A-L to me. And I want to be here to help you. I know that learning can be challenging, um, especially the first time through. I know that the sun is going to shine and it's going to take a lot of discipline to listen to hours of video and work lots of problems. So um, let me help you uh, with whatever questions you may have. Just um, feel free. And if you want to contact me during those regular office hours or send me an email. Okay. Good luck. And um, I've at the end of this, I just kind of threw out uh, the course schedule, which I've already showed you before in previous slides, but just a reminder that um, chapters 1 through 3 and when your exam dates are. So if you're scrolling through this slide and you need those dates for your exams, they're at the, they're at the end. They're slide 56, okay? And then these are your homework due dates. And like I said, you've got three homework assignments that are due next week. And then, of course, chapter 2A, 2B, and then 3A, 3B is going to be due the next couple of weeks. And this is for exam one. So you are going to be busy. All right. I put this together. Um, and I would like to go through it real quick because I think you might find it helpful. And like I said, these are also um, the, lecture, the introduction to the course slide. Now what this tells you here is that on day one, you're, you should be watching the introduction to the course video lecture. Okay, so hopefully you're doing that on day one. And then what, what are you supposed to do? The work. Make sure you get the textbook, the sapling, soft test, and your proctor sites. Okay, so if you do that and get onto Canvas, then you've done, you can check off this. So you could print this off and check, okay, I did what I needed to do today. Okay, that's going to help you be successful. And then tomorrow, you need to come in here and you say, okay, you watch chapter one, part one lecture. They're about an hour lectures. And Work, start working homework problems, chapter 1A and 1B. So when, every day that you watch a lecture, you need to be working problems. So you can go on there and see how many problems you have and start working them every day. Okay, and then you also have time on Saturday and Sunday. Okay, so this kind of didn't come out right. Okay, uh, Monday, you need to watch chapter 1, part 2 of the lecture. You need to work homework problems on sapling and notice that your intro assignment is due. So all your sapling intro assignments I've made in orange. So on Tuesday chapter 1 is due. And notice that 
on Tuesday, you should have finished Chapter 1, Part 3 of the lecture. So you will have watched three hours of lecture and you will have done problems every day. Okay, so as much as you can get done through the weekend, that'll make your life a little bit easier. And then on Wednesday, you're going to start with Chapter 2, Part 1 lecture. And notice now we have a new thing called recitation in there. Okay, and recitation is Chapter 1. So at some point during this week, you might want to go ahead and download the Chapter, the 10 recitation problem sets. And then so by 10, all these due date times are 10 p.m. It's not listed on here. But you'll want to upload those problems on Wednesday for Chapter 1. And then on Thursday, and you can do it sooner. Um, so Chapter 2, you'll watch Chapter 2, Part 2 on that Thursday. You'll start working Chapter 2 problems and you have your math sapling homework due in orange. Friday you're going to watch chapter 2 part 3 lecture and you're going to need to do your homework in chapter 2a and 2b and you notice the chapter 2 sapling homework is due on Friday. So that's why you need to be doing chapter 2 problems at least starting on Wednesday. That gives you three days. And then um, your recitation chapter 2 problems you can go online and after you work your problems you can watch the recitation video and then you can upload your recitation problems through canvas to get your six percent and like I said your saplings worth 15 percent and your exam one is here on the 23rd so recitation I'll put up a um, recitation exam one review that you can uh, view on Tuesday. Notice here you're going to have chapter 3 problems for sapling due on Tuesday the 21st and you also will have your proctoring assignment due. So um, basically I've put this together for you and you have that available and um, you'll also see announcements that will come out telling you what to watch, what to work, and what to do. And this is July, so I went ahead and wrote out kind of like a little format for what you need to do every day. What to watch. And here this would be watch the recitation and uh, what is due. And I think if you put, you know, th probably three or four hours a day and you just do this every single day, you should be successful. And then the last slide here shows August and your final exam is August the 4th. And these are the technology requirements in your syllabus. So make sure you figure these things out before your homework. We don't actually have quizzes in here. We took those out. Okay, so make sure you do it before your homework. Okay, so that means you need to do it today because your homework's due. You got three homework assignments due next week. Um, you can read through all of this. And if you have any, we got sapling, we got exam soft. Um, here it talks about needing a web camera and microphone. Um, it's sometimes desirable to prevent an echo. This is for office hours through Canvas. So we'll see how that goes, right? Um, if you need Office Suite, Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, you can go to the UK download site for that. You can, if you need to download the media player, um, this is kind of important. Firefox is the recommended internet browser. Uh, and that should be all. Well, I look forward to working with you and um, send me an email at some point. All right? Okay, take care. Thanks.